Hi everyone, my name is Gabby and welcome to my channel, Nails in Orbit. Today we are using the new collection by Ball Pit called Flower Power and we're going to showcase all these beautiful colors by doing a Scooby-Doo set. I love this set. I'm so excited about it. They are very long nails. They took me a long time and I absolutely love it. So let's get started. Hi everyone, so um, I just did this sketch by myself because I really wanted to focus because this is this is like an inspo that I built from several inspos so I just wanted to do it off camera to get it all planned out but I think it looks really good. We've got the pizza man in the background. I wanted his hands to be on both um, fingers, so the pointer in the middle and then we have Shaggy over here and then Scooby over here and I just of course did the background, this beautiful color. Butterfly babe. So that was only one coat. This is one coat. How pretty. So um, anyway, I have it all planned out and now I'm going to start color blocking, but it's going to be a little bit more of a complicated set. So um, you guys can just watch me color block now. So we're going to start with Sunbeam for the pizza. And I'm going to try to color block like character by character <laughs> to make it more seamless, but I do jump around a little bit. All right. It's okay. <laughs> but first we're going to start with Sunbeam. Like I said, this beautiful bright yellow. I absolutely love it. So we'll finish color blocking all the yellow. And then the next color I know I'm going to use is Orange Blossom because I'm going to use that for the crust. All right, so as we're color blocking, I kind of want to talk about how I got this, to this idea. I really wanted to do um, Scooby and Shaggy for this idea with a lot of food because I feel like if I had a lot of food, I was like, I can show off all the colors. <laughs> and um, and it was funny because I just did pizza nails. I didn't realize this till later. Okay, here's the orange blossom, nice and beautiful. I didn't realize this till later, but I had just did Gur pizza nails and then and I did another pizza nail that are also purple, so it's fine. But <laughs> but anyway, I really wanted to. Have have, I saw this inspo. I'll show you where it is. It was on a t-shirt, just the pizza and like kind of them running in the back in the on the bottom um, without food or anything. But um, it was just the big pizza. And I was like, I have to draw this. I have to draw this pizza. So I really wanted to make a concept that worked for it. So I wanted it to look like Scooby and Shaggy had like stolen food or something like that because they were hungry and now we're using Best Buds, um, beautiful green. Um, they had like stolen food or something like that and they were running away from the pizza with the food in their hands. So I got a picture of Shaggy, a picture of Scooby and um, Shaggy, he wasn't actually scared in his face. He was happy. So I had another picture of Shaggy's face, but scared so that I can attach that face to Shaggy's body. And then Scooby didn't, you guys will see, he doesn't look very scared, but it's fine. <laughs> and now we're using Garden Hope for the mouth, a beautiful bright pink. This one, it's different from, um, oh my goodness, what am I thinking? Ghoul's Night Out. And let me just figure out the comparison one second okay i found the comparison so you guys can see it on the screen between ghouls night out and garden Ho, so you can see the difference between the pinks um but they're both beautiful i love them and i was trying to use i mean obviously all the colors for this set so i can showcase it for the launch um so i used that for the inside of the mouth and now we're making the little what's that called uvula is that what that's called <laughs> Anyway, we're doing that part now because the cheese is going to go over top of that. So I want to do that first. But yeah, so that was like my idea for the concept. I really just wanted there to be a whole bunch of food, a whole bunch of clutter on the nails and it to look like the pizza man is chasing them and they're running away with food, which was really a really fun idea for me because a lot of the times I just use inspo that I just grab or it's just like one character's face on a nail or something. But I really had a lot of fun with this and it did take me a long time because I had to build that composition up from like multiple inspos to make it what I wanted so I'm very proud of this set I'm so excited um and I am excited that you guys get to watch it all the way through also I forgot to show the comparison between pumpkin juice and um uh, orange blossom so I'll pop that up too
And now we're hopping over to Scooby. Super cute. I thought this info was really cute of him because he was eating food. So it was perfect. And he just doesn't look that scared. But whatever. Um, so there's Scooby. And honestly, his... We'll do it in a second. But his collar, Peace and Love, is the perfect like blue teal for it. So I really thought that was fun. And I'm, I'm happy that we had that color for the collar. I wanted to keep this in so you guys could see but I used at first I used clear skies for the color but then I was like I think peace and love would be it's just like a little bit brighter against the tone of his fur and I think it looks more like the um Scooby's like actual collar call oh my god collar color so that's why I went with peace and love but I just wanted to show you guys the difference now it's time for shaggy and this skin tone this is my favorite skin tone for characters i i mean for like light tone characters um, sorry i just like turned my whole body around i'm looking for it Oof. it is sorry that's my chair my chair is so loud anyways this color is um D, D dc and it's 291 it's my absolute favorite color for any of like my white characters that we have to do because it's a yellow undertone and i just think it's real nice i use it all the time um so yeah and for scooby let me see if i can find the color i used and for scooby i used coco puff in the nails by dev um complexion collection that's what i used i like her browns they're very beautiful so that's what i used and this for the hair i just used orange blossom i believe i just mixed it with sunbeam um to get this kind of like dirty blonde color And now for our best buds. This is definitely my favorite color. Obviously, you guys know I'm a purple and green person. So look at these two colors together, like the background, the butterfly babe with best buds. Oh my gosh, they're gorgeous and it just pops so much. So that's the one we're using for Shaggy's shirt.
Okay, from this point, we just jump into the food because again, I just sketched off of camera. Um, it was just so much detail and composition. I just wanted to make sure that I had it right next to my face and I could see it all. Um, I can get all the details I want in there, but you guys can still watch me color block it. And also, I'm so sorry about my camera. I don't know what is going on. It's a little bit blurry. I think I just probably touched the camera, like the camera on my phone or something like that. But you guys can still see it. It's a little bit annoying, but whatever. Um, so now we're just filling in the colors for the milk. Is that milk? No, it's gonna be orange juice carton. That one I used clear skies. And now I'm just using, um, here I'm actually using Goosebumps from the Halloween collection for like a lot of the meats. Cause I just like the look. It's like super dark red, a little bit of brown tone. So it, it's good for the meats. And I think it creates a good contrast too. Now we're just going back in with some more brown color to make the sandwiches. I actually don't know what brown I used or if I mixed it, so I'm sorry. <laughs> We're onto the food in the middle nail now. And this nail, you guys will see it later, but I made it so that Shaggy was grabbing the food onto this nail. So I think that's gonna look real nice. And now I'm using Peace and Love for the soda and filling in the rest of the food. All the sandwiches were definitely my favorite part of this set. And I feel like it's very shaggy and scooby for the sandwiches. So yeah, and then the blocks of cheese I really liked too. I think this set probably took me a span of over like three days to finish everything. I was just jumping between everything. Um, but I finally got it finished after three days. And then obviously it's taking me longer to get <laughs> the actual video out. But, and then here we're doing the Scooby snacks, which is vitally important. I think they're mowing the, they're mowing the lawn in my apartment complex. So I hope you can't hear it, but there it is. It's going to be so cute. More green. I use the green and the peace and love for like Scooby-Doo theme. And then, and then the butterfly babe, those three colors, I feel like are very Scooby-Doo-esque. So if you're looking to the Scooby-Doo set, Best Buds, Butterfly Babe, and Peace and Love. Vital, I would say. This green is also a ball pit green, but it's not from this Flower Power collection. It's from the Christmas collection. It's called You Filthy Animal. So it's a good green too. And now we're adding his hand. I thought this was so fun. It really connected the nails. Like I, I've been trying to do more connected nails, even though they're kind of a challenge for me, but they've been getting easier. And this little hand is so cute. I love it.
I think this was like a different cake in the inspo, but I really wanted to use um, Garden Hoe again, so <laughs> I need to add some pink. And now the sandwich, the best part. But I kept putting my hand in front of the screen and making it blurry, so I only showed like the part of this clip that was not blurry, so that's all right, we still got a portion of it. All right, this is how it's looking with no line work. I love it, it looks so pretty. Ooh, I still need to do um, Shaggy's face, but I'm trying to think if I want to start some line work first. We'll see. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do for the thumb, I think I'm just gonna do, um, it's gonna say Scooby-Doo with, I really wanna use the white, like I really wanna use this white. I think it'd be really pretty, the field of flowers. Um, so I think that would be really fun next to it. Just say Scooby-Doo, but I think I'm just gonna, uh, I'm actually, I'll just finish Shaggy's Shag Shag face because that's basically all we have for the color blocking left. So let me just finish his face and then I will start the line work. I think this is one of my favorite sets I've ever done. Like it's right next to Rocco's um, Modern Life. I loved that set. So ooh, I'm so excited to finish it. Also, if you guys are curious what's on my left hand, I have, I did um, three different gurs on my left hand for my gel nails. I did a Spartan race and I was doing like short nails for the Spartan race kind of thing. But that vlog is coming up later this week. So I'm excited. It'll be my second vlog, but I'll kind of go through doing these nails. It's not a tutorial because my very first video, I do have a gur tutorial. So I just didn't include a tutorial, but I do go through like doing the nails. Um, kind of. So I hope you guys like that. And if you do want an actual tutorial, just go to that first, very first video I ever filmed and you will see a Gur and Invaderism tutorial. And then I even told, tell you guys on my right hand, I have, um, the limited edition color, which is magic grass. And it's very pretty. It's just like Seance, but it is um, green. And I also do an unboxing of this in the vlog that's coming up. I just thought this video was more important. Um, and I'm almost done with the vlog, but <laughs> I thought this video was more important. So I needed to get this Scooby-Doo out and make the reel and all that stuff. And then you guys will have the vlog at the end of the week. It'll showcase like me running in the Spartan Rays, doing nails, opening PR, you know, stuff like that. So I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> Okay, I talked through the start of that line work, but here we are doing the line work. So in this video, I really, I mostly used the Double Trouble brush by Ball Pit, but I also used twice as nice for any small details, which is the uh, six millimeter. And then I, um, of course, the 15 millimeter beginner baddie um, for a lot of it too. So I just wanna make sure you guys knew which brush I was using. I showed most of this mouth part, but there were so many tiny little details and line weights I wanted to get, so um, I just didn't. I just did it off camera a little bit. <laughs> and now we're doing the little drips around the eyes. Here I'm using a daughter tool. Daughter tool is still one of my best friends when I'm doing nail art to get those little drips. And then I use my twice as nice to get, um, what would you call that? Like the cheese poles on the eyes, just like we did on the mouth, but just on the eyes. Thank you. 
This red we're using for the pepperoni is called Santa Suit. It's a nice bright red and I thought it would complement all the colors we're already using and it definitely did. So I'm just using my daughter tool again to fill in those pepperonis. He actually didn't even have that many pepperonis now that I'm looking at this design, but um, still super fun. <laughs> and again, more line work. I've got to say the cheese, like the cheese poles was like my favorite part of the entire set. I think it really brought everything together. It like made like the pizza, you know, it was like the star of the show. And that was my goal because I really wanted the pizza to be like the main thing. Um, but yeah, all the cheese pulls and the cheese drips were a lot of fun. And it's still hilarious that I literally just did that on my last nails, but I guess I got pizza on the brain. So now we're on to the line work for Scooby-Doo. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen this movie, but it's my, one of my favorite movies. Um, it's Scooby-Doo Spooky Island. And I think that's one of my major goals to do like realistic on nails, which is going to be super hard. But that is just one of the coolest, like I went into um, experiential design in school. So I studied interior design that I did experiential design, which is I think the best thing I can explain it like is like designing the interior of like a Universal Studios maze, which I've never done, but that's probably the best way I can like <laughs> say what it is. I've always had kind of a hard time <laughs> describing it, but I feel like if you're like an influencer or something like that, you can kind of um, understand the events that I would promote. Cause like it would either be like, or we're promoting a product or something like that and I'm creating a trade show booth or a photo moment or an interactive experience like like a I think I said photo booth already like something like that um 
but it was just really cool. My, I also loved de- designing like, you know, PR packages that like influencers would get. Basically, I still do that. That's like what I do for freelance and stuff like that now. But I've always thought that space of design was always really cool. And I think a lot of the inspiration came from movies like um, Scooby-Doo, Spooky Island. Like that place is so cool. I would love to just be in a world like that or design a world like that. And I just think that's so cool. I don't do that now for my career. Like I just didn't like the lifestyle that it like that went along with doing a career like that. It was just hours upon hours. Like you just, I was just working 24 seven. I swear to God. Like I, I think I worked, I think I've said this before, but I, my last week, I think I worked like 16 hours a day. Like I was just struggling as a human being. So I was like, you know what? This isn't for me. And I can do this type of design in a different way. And since then I've gotten like freelance. Now I do freelance for the product design, which was, which was my favorite part of my job was I like to make the like the box like that the influencers get. I don't know if you guys have known that. And then um, I would be the lead of like assembling it too. Oh, I loved it so much. And I'd have my twin sister when she lived near me, she would also come and it was like I had a clone. It could just produce the boxes the exact way I needed. (laughs) But I could also lead and (laughs) instruct other people and stuff like that. But now I kind of get the best of both worlds because I still get that like, um, like within my freelance job, I still get the ability to design those boxes. And I just think that's really fun and fulfilling. But in my nails, I get to just pick and do whatever I want to do. And I just think it's so much fun. I don't even, I don't know how to describe it, but I'm happy with the the direction that my life slash career is going into and the, and the interior and the experiential that I have learned and the freelance is still teaching me so much that's going to go into like my own business and nails and all of that. So that was a really jumbled way of describing this. And I'll probably have to talk, I'll probably talk about this in a different dedicated video, but for now you guys get a little chat for me while we're doing this scooby-doo nails if any if anyone's listening here at 26 minutes or so (laughs) but to summarize i would really like to do scooby-doo nails based off of a spooky island we really we went left on that description but hopefully that tells you guys a little bit more about me (laughs) because i know some people have been asking and i'm trying to be more open and say more stuff um in these videos Right, so I did all the line work. I did a lot of it off camera because there was so many little tiny details and I really needed to just have the nail right next to my face. So 
Um, that's why I did a little bit of it off camera, but I love it so much. And let me finally scoot these over. So this is basically it for the design. I just need to do this, the Scooby-Doo um, on the thumb and we'll be all set. I love it so much. Um, uh, I hope you guys can see, like, it looks like they're in front and they're running away from the monster. I hope that makes sense. Scooby doesn't look, like, scared enough, but <laughs> I might just deal with that and then Shaggy can just make up for that. <laughs> so we'll do the Scooby and then we'll be all done. And I have to decide if I want shiny or matte. So we can decide that at the end. <laughs> And now we are doing, or now we're using Field of Flowers, the beautiful white, like speckled color in the collection. Like, oh, so much fun. I love it so much. And I thought it would be a good con contrast on top of the um, Butterfly Babe. So that's what we're doing. And honestly, I'm proud of myself. I got this placement of Scooby-Doo perfect on the first shot. I was so happy because this is my last nail. And it was seemingly simple and I need to get it done <laughs> for this for this launch. So I was hustling. But yeah, I, I just place it all out. I clean it up. I think I do a little bit off camera and then I do a second coat and then I debate about the border for probably an hour, what color it should be. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys my attempts of what colors I was going to use. So first I tried orange blossom. I thought for sure I wanted to do orange blossom, but for some reason I just didn't like, it looks good. But at first, like when I was looking at all the nails together, I just didn't like it as much as I wanted to. Like, I don't know, maybe there just wasn't enough orange in the whole set. And then I tried um, best buds, which again is beautiful. You cannot go wrong with purple and green. We, we know that's my favorite. Um, and I tried that and then I just decided to go. Let's see. Come on, Gabby. How much of this clip that I put in here? I went with the blue. <laughs> I decided I just wanted it to be more subtle. So I went with clear skies and I just wanted it to be subtle and um, not pop out as much, I think, because everything this is what this is what I got. Everything in the rest of the nail is outlined with black. So I think it was throwing me that I was outlining it with something that wasn't black because I tried the black and but it, there just wasn't enough color. So I was going back and forth, but I think the blue was perfect because it was subtle. Um, but it also like, you know, wasn't aligned with black. So I think that's where the balance came. And now we are just top coating. This is the glossy top coat. I attempted to do matte, but I'm just not a matte girly. Like it just, it takes away some of the vibrancy in my opinion in every, just every matte that I do. But I think I just have to try more matte sets i'm just like i just love clear so much i mean glossy so much so you could almost never get me to do matte i feel like if i did a set that didn't have a like line work i would try matte and see if i like that better all right so this is them all finished i absolutely love them so much they're some of the best i've ever done this is like right behind well this and rocco's modern life are pretty even for me i absolutely love them so much and as you can see i decided to do the blue for the scooby-doo i went back and forth and tried so many colors but i think the blue is good it's like a little bit subtle i didn't want it to be so loud and um yeah it's beautiful i love it i love the composition i had so much fun making it and the purple looks so good so i'll pop them on my hands really quick so you guys can see mm -hmm. 